Hey guys, it's Lauren from It's the Kellys coming to you from Cyprus, my country 101. I am so excited to take you around this island for the next three days. Right now I'm coming to you from day three and let me tell you, this is one of my favorite places I've ever been. I'm here solo, I'm doing a road trip and I'm going to try to see as much of this incredible island as I can, as well as telling you how much everything costs and giving you any little tips that I find along the way. Beautiful cliffs meets teal water meets adorable little villages. Let's start day one. Rewind. I just landed, did everything. Now it's time to get our rental car. All right, we are in the rental car, the little Toyota Yaris. It is mine for the next few days. And you guys, they drive on the left here. Always a little nervous when you have to do that. I have a little bit of a rough plan. The island has this really cute area and this really cute area and this really cute area. So I'm trying just to divide up the island for three days. And I think I'm just gonna start with what's the furthest away. But I don't know, you never know. On a road trip with me, if it's pretty and has a good view, I stop and take pictures of it. We'll see where we end up. Wish me luck driving. All right, I got lost a couple of times, but now we are here. We are at the Curion Archaeological Site. I think I am done with Kurion. I saw just about everything and I think honestly the highlight was quite obviously the views but the highlight for the historical stuff was the mosaic floor. I thought that was really incredible. So now what should we do? Let's keep heading down the coast. I believe there's actually another archaeological site and then we'll be at Paphos which maybe we can get some lunch. Let's just keep on going in Cyprus. All right, we have made it to Paphos. And the crazy thing is while I was driving, my phone thought that I was in Lebanon. So it wasn't giving me any directions and I just had to figure it out the old fashioned way. But we made it and let's wander around this little coastal boardwalk, go to some of the shops, hopefully get some lunch if I'm being honest. I bought a hat and a ring, but it's time to go to that other archeological site. This one is right in town. Like it was a two minute drive from where I was right on the water before. So very convenient if you're in Paphos. I did hear that there's a lot of incredible intact mosaics here. That's what everyone kind of talked about in the reviews. I'm definitely excited to see these. be like 100 degrees for sure <sighs> oh that feels good wow all right so that one was awesome i'd say the mosaics were absolutely phenomenal 
and the location couldn't be any better. So yeah, I think that's all the ancient stuff I'm going to. The rest of it is, uh, well, it's a surprise. You gotta keep watching. Right, let's go to Aphrodite's Rock. Well, I made it to Aphrodite's Rock. And then as soon as I got here, my hotel called and said, we need to come and check in right now because we're gonna close the check-in desk. Well, that would've been great to know. Finally ready to jump into the ocean. And I have to leave. All right, en route to our hotel. You can't drive in the village, so I have about a three minute walk to get to my room. The village is cute and I haven't explored too much of it yet. And it looks like there's like a tavern, which I'd probably be the only one eating in. Here it is, gotta go that way. Kenny, Kenny. All right, so I tried one of the taverns in town. There were actually two to choose from. It was pretty good. They also had like a little mini grocery store so I can get some stuff for tomorrow because I have to wake up really, really early because I picked a hotel way up in the mountains. I have a two hour drive in the morning. It's not even nine o'clock and I am going to bed. All right, I will see you tomorrow for day two in Cyprus. All right, guys, it is 5.40 in the morning and I am ready for scuba diving. And we have a one hour and 42 minute drive. It is on the whole opposite side of the island. Let's get driving. So I got to the dive place ridiculously early. So I'm going to start my sightseeing a little bit early because that's the plan for after diving. We are at the Crow's Arch, which is this natural arch all along the coast here are these little sea caves and just really cool formations. You can't go walk on the arch. It literally says bridge may collapse. So let's just take it all in and see the natural beauty of it. All right, we're gonna keep going on the coast here because there is an adorable blue and white church on the water that I'd like to go see. There's some stairs that go down to the ocean. Let's go see what that looks like. Let's get suited up for diving and let's go underwater. Dive spot number one, Green Bay. Okay, so dive site number two is called Caves and Tunnels, and it's at that same part that we were at earlier this morning, just under the water instead. Time and I stopped at this place just a couple doors down from the dive center because my dive instructor recommended it. So I ordered some fried halloumi with some jam and then I ordered a chicken souvlaki pita. It's so hot, oh my gosh. Now I want to head to this really cool church on the water. This one confused with the cave church that I really wanted to go to. And now I'm debating going back into that town to go see it. I decided to go to the cave church after all. Let's check it out.
All right, we have made it to the capital city and right now I am walking along the buffer zone, which is the big like split between Cyprus and North Cyprus. And I do wanna to try to cross the border. What I did find out in my research is that Americans can't enter if you're trying to fly into it, but you can cross the border and you don't need a visa or anything. So we're definitely gonna to try to do that. Other than that, I just want to walk around both sides and see what I can find. I can hear the mosque on that side. I can hear the call to prayer. That's wild. The Cypress side is definitely just your typical little city. Just walking down the street, a bunch of shops, souvenir stores. I'm trying to walk and find kind of the old part of town to do the type of photography I like the most. And then we'll cross over to the Turkish side and see what the difference is. Okay, so I did have to show my passport to get out of Cyprus and then walk like 20 feet and then show my passport to get into North Cyprus. And then as soon as I crossed, I was immediately welcomed with a Turkish delight. All right, I'm back on the other side. So here, in Cyprus is a whole bunch of blocks of shopping, typical souvenir shopping, but over there, it's like all big designer items. Like I was trying to walk into a store just to get something cute, but it was just nothing but purses and, and clothes. And I did try to go into a jewelry store, but they were so busy that they couldn't even really pay attention to me. So yeah. All right guys, that is it for this area. I wanna to start to head home. It's an hour and a half drive. It'll be a pretty sunset though. Of course, I'm playing the Mamma Mia soundtrack when I'm in Cyprus. It's not exactly a Greek island, but it's close enough. Definitely took the scenic way home. I probably drove like literally the whole thing today. Good morning. I totally just passed out last night and didn't even update the vlog, but I went to dinner at that same awesome place in the village that I went to the night before. Came home and I realized that I only had this place for two nights as opposed to three. So last night I was kind of researching where I wanted to stay for tonight and I had to kind of pick a perfect location based on what I want to do today. I think I figured it out. I am just kind of working on my packing right now. And you guys, I opened up the fridge and there's so much fresh stuff that they gave me. Cucumbers, tomatoes, eggs, apples, that cheese, and that meat. And I wish I could take it with me, but it's 100 degrees outside and it's not gonna be good while I'm on a road trip. So I'm gonna leave it in the fridge and hope that they can use it for whoever's staying here next. But for now, I'm going to finish packing all my stuff. And the first thing I want to do today is just go take pretty pictures around the village. The only bad thing about walking around this village is that my hotel is on the top and everything else you wanna see is on the bottom, which is fine right now. But catch me in 30 minutes when I'm going uphill the whole time. <laughs> That's a good doorway for a picture. I told you what hell was gonna suck. <sighs> what my plan is now is go into the mountains. There's a couple of trails with waterfalls and then I have a rough plan, but we'll see. So staying in the village did have its pros and cons. I mean, the only con is that it's pretty far away from everything, but the pro is everything else. You know, you get a little taste of the local life. It's absolutely beautiful here in the village. I loved it. It was just really far to go to one of the main cities. That's the only drawback. And the mountain driving, if you're scared of that, I actually did okay. I'm way worse as a passenger when it comes to mountain driving. All right, so I have 
three waterfalls within a 40 minute drive that I can go visit. So I think I found a way where I can do at least two of them and just drive in a little loop. Let's go. All right, I stopped here just because this is where I stopped yesterday on the vlog and I wanna show you guys during the day. It's so pretty. kind of prickly but a good view I think I need to do the red dress photo shoot here guys everything is so green I think it would look good because then I'm doing my floral dress one later on on the cliffs let's do it getting dressed on the side of the road but literally nobody's up here so it's okay all right that's enough let's go to a waterfall on a dirt road now. Ah. Road is starting to get a little wild with a lot of rocks. So it's like, I'm not sure if I should drive down it or not. It does say when going to this waterfall that there's parking right next to it. I'll risk it. And if I have to turn around, I have to turn around. I don't know. Ugh. All right. I'm just going to leave my car. Like what if something happened to my tire? Like, oh yeah, roadside assistance. Hey, it's Lauren and I popped a tire. Okay, sure, where in Cyprus are you? In the middle of the mountains, hours away by a waterfall. And good luck getting down here. I can hear the waterfall though. We've now gotten to the area that you're supposed to park your car. That's funny. Now there are these stairs. So maybe the waterfall like continues up here and that that's just the bottom. All right, that's where the waterfall goes down. We've got this here. And that there. Feels so good, but I don't want to go all the way in. Walking back to my car. When I went up to the top pool, I ended up meeting a local named Chris. He just came down and started to talk to me. And we were just talking about nature and Cyprus and everything like that. Now I think we have that other waterfall to go to as long as I can make it back up this mountain. All right, I'm officially canceling the second waterfall because there were three different parking lots and they were all full, which means that's not really my jam. I'm going to kind of go to a local village that I wanted to visit, maybe get something to eat, maybe see the monastery, and then keep going. I don't know. Spontaneous day, guys. All right, that was an easy little seven-minute drive parked on the side of the road right in front of this Taverna. There's a really cool looking cemetery up here. It may not be interesting to you, but I always find them fascinating, especially for photography. I'm excited to check out this little village. It's like a bigger village than the one that I stayed in. I quickly took my suit off and put on my shirt and I bought this skirt yesterday from Nicosia. And if you're ever doing a road trip like me and you just park in a random area, drop a pin and remember where you parked. You can get totally lost in a little village like this. I see an ice cream shop. Let's start with that. America! Yeah! I have American car. Three times in Los Angeles. Yeah? I might need some. This is the caro. Oh, what? Caro. Oh, okay. Got my mango sorbet. And he gave me a nut to try. And then he wanted to buy my hat off of me. Which is so delicious. Mm. go into the monastery, which means I have to put on something to cover, which they provide. No photos were allowed inside, but it's absolutely beautiful. Maybe I can find a picture and put it right here.
I'm just literally wandering and attempting to just get lost in this adorable little town. I bought some nuts from George's Bakery. I saw fresh squeezed orange juice back there, so I think I need to get that. You just know these were like picked off of a tree and just squeezed. I love that. That went down real quick. <laughs> All right, I think it is time to leave this adorable little village and head to the beach because I am getting hot and want to swim. I found where I parked without even looking at my map. And the next stop is going to be back to Aphrodite's beach, which if you remember, we did on day one, but I immediately had to leave. Let's go back there and actually spend some time. I'm almost there, but I stopped on the side of the road so I can try to show it to you guys from up here instead. We are back. I think I'm gonna stop here and get a couple of cold drinks. And then we'll be at Aphrodite's Rock. For real this time, I'm gonna swim. And we made it. Totally just fell on a rock. <laughs> So Aphrodite's Beach definitely needs some water shoes because you will not be able to walk on it barefoot. And then they do have showers for 50 cents. I made it to Pasuri. So I'm at the beach and the start of the Cape Aspro Trail. And let's go check out the beach first and then we'll do a little bit of the trail. Let's do it. Oh, it's gonna be hot. Gotta love a good warning sign. Although, how many times have you guys already seen me stand close to a cliff today? Easy little walking path. You just have to watch for the big rocks. Beautiful clear water. I wanna be down there. I saw people over there. It's a little sketch here. They give you a rope. Ah. to go in the water I think to get there like what those people were doing when I was up there and I said oh I wish I could do that full circle Sliding. at least you can hold on to the rock so you don't fall all right guys we are headed to the hotel now I am absolutely spent oh I'm hoping I can hurry back there enough that I can jump in the pool Right, I made it to my hotel and I have an hour to swim. He gave me my key and he's like, the lift is over here. And I'm like, no, I'm going to the pool. He's like, oh. <laughs> So hungry and my body is so sore that I was almost in tears. <laughs> so I came down to this big part of town and I found a Thai massage place that I'm getting on at eight o'clock and I'm so happy. That's it. This is the rest of the vlog, man. It's gonna be boring. This is how good I look after a Thai massage. I am so exhausted, you guys. I am back at my hotel room. I'm gonna sleep <laughs> and pack and eat all of my Turkish delights. Maybe not all of them, but I really don't want to bring them home. So I'm going to eat as much as I can. All right, guys, that is it for tonight. Good night. Good morning. It's our last morning in Cyprus. And last night I asked people on Instagram, should I sleep in 
or should I go find the sunrise? It was like half and half. But I woke up because I had to check in for a future flight anyway. And uh, figured why not? I'm here. But this is a cool beach. I chose it because it has some white sandy cliffs per usual. All right guys, that was a very uneventful morning and I'm here at the airport now. And I'm not taking you home with me. This is just Cyprus, you and I, that's all. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing that I did on this trip was. And let me know if you have any questions too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.